back in France. Mm-hmm. I'm back in France. Very good. Tell me what's happening there. Hmm. Just waiting, waiting for instructions. Waiting for instructions. So let's find out who you're with in France. Are you by yourself or is somebody there with you? It's more like me. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you experience with air. Whose instructions are you waiting for? We're on horseback. You're on horseback. Very good. Tell me about yourself. What do you look like there? I look like a knight. A knight. Very good. Tell me more. I feel like we have to leave. Mm-hmm. We have to leave. What's happening? There's been a fort that was attacked. A fort was attacked? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who was in that fort? It's the royals. The royals? Mm-hmm. Tell me more. It's just that we need to protect them and get them out safe. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you're doing there. What you're doing to protect these royals. Just escort them. Mm-hmm. We front and back. We just escort them? Escort them. I think they're on foot. They're on foot? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell me, who else is with you there? How many other horses are with you? Just enough to surround them. It's maybe, maybe a half a dozen, a dozen. Mm-hmm. And take a look at the royals. How are they dressed? They're medieval. Mm-hmm. What did I look like? Oh, they have kind of long, flowing garments. Mm-hmm. Very, uh, very pretty, but not, not so good on travel. Mm-hmm. How many do you see? How many royals are there? Two. Mm-hmm. And then there their servants. Their servants. And these royals, are they male or female? One of each. Mm-hmm. Do you know who they are? Their names? I can't like them. What do you call them? I call them Maid Marian is my, my name. Mm-hmm. For Maid her, Marian? Maid Marian, I call her. Mm-hmm. I don't know the man. So tell me what happens next. Where do you go? We go down to where we can find the the boats in the harbor. Mm -hmm. And then they they have a boat for them and not for us. We have to stay. We stay on shore. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? duty. Mm-hmm. We're there. When they come back, we we have provisions, food. We keep supply the boats. Mm-hmm. So have, have you supplied these boats that are taking them? Yes. Mm-hmm. We, we have them prepared for... They leave us and Men don't know where to go, but they end up at the bar. Mm-hmm. All around the bar. Where are you now? We're in the port in the bars, and we're waiting for them to return. Okay. So what happens next? Well, some we go to go farm, we make a farm, and we. We prepare the food and 
and they come and keep in touch through the bar to return so we can have food for them and we're hiding out in the country. Mm -hmm. Who are you hiding out from? They left us with some of their more precious items. Mm -hmm. What kind of items do they leave you with? Books. Mm -hmm. Books and uh, maps and things. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm in a country where no one can find me, so I come. I have precious items, but I can come and find a note from them at the bar, and they can leave a note, and we can keep in touch. Mm -hmm. Are you alone in the country, or are there others with you? I'm pretty much alone in the country. Mm -hmm. When you're in the country, how do you dress? More like a pheasant, a peasant of our farm. Mm -hmm. Do you do that on purpose? Yeah, that's for working, mm -hmm. working the land. Mm -hmm. What is it that you work on the land with? There's a, some, some type of oxen or some kind of a farm animal. Mm -hmm. Do you have a farm animal that helps you plant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Small, small operation, but... Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else that helps you besides this animal? Are any other people that are there? No, they don't know where I am. They don't know. What, what is it important about you that they not found you? I have the Book of Love. Mm-hmm. What is this book all about? Sacred writings. Mm-hmm. Tell me about these sacred writings. Who wrote this book? Possession of uh, our religious leaders. Mm hmm. We believe it's Mary Magdalene. Mm hmm. So Mary Magdalene wrote this book? Or is it about her? She wrote it. Mm hmm. She wrote several. She wrote several. Mm hmm. She didn't write under her name, she wrote other names. Mm hmm. Did you work for her? No. This is before your time? Yes. yes. Mm hmm. Very good. What do they call you in this life? What is your name? Red. Red? Red. Mm hmm. Red, how old are you? 29. Mm hmm. You have quite a bit of responsibility, Red. Mm hmm. come back, they're not happy on the water, they want to make Mary and her hair is gray now and she wants a st stable life on the farm. All right, so what happens next? She wants to be with me on the farm. Mm -hmm. She has to leave notes at the bar and they have to arrange for us to meet. And then we go back, we go back to the farm. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened to the other boats. I don't know where they go. I think they stay in the bar area, mm -hmm. in the port. So how does Maid Marion get to you in this country? Oh, I come get her. Okay. The, mm hmm we, we find enough notes back and forth, and I come I bring her on the horse. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens next. Just keep the secret safe. We have the maps. Mm -hmm. so we... What are these maps all about? I think it's how to go back and restore our villages, mm -hmm. our forts. We didn't have time to bring everything. We just had to hide it. Mm -hmm. So how do you keep Maid Marion safe? She's uh, she's older now. She's she stays inside 
Mm-hmm. Tell me more about your relationship with her. I think she was under contract to be with the king. And I don't know where he is anymore. Mm-hmm. She liked me as a stronger protector. Mm-hmm. It was very, uh, very hard to be attacked and not to feel as protected. Mm-hmm. But now we're safe. We keep in contact and our friends want to farm now. Mm-hmm. So what do you do now? I think... I think I try to find children. I think there was children that were left behind mm-hmm. to make the journey. Whose children are these? I don't know whose children they are. There was just a school. She wants to. I think she was teaching children, and she wants to keep to pass on the secrets of the past. Mm-hmm. What does she call this school? I don't know if she had a name. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cathar. Mm-hmm. Cathar. Red, did she teach you any of the secrets? I wasn't supposed to know. I wasn't supposed to tell. Mm. What did you learn? Um, there wasn't supposed to be any knowledge given to me. Mm-hmm. Did you get any of this knowledge? It was about the leaders and their the ways they believed that there was a spiritual connection that we can make mm-hmm. and it wasn't through the church we could make it ourselves mm-hmm. the church didn't like to hear that they were, mm-hmm. they were under they were, we were under attack so tell me what has happened with Maid Marian is she teaching the children No, oh, she found the children. I think. I think. Uh, I think one of the bar owners had kids, and he had his children be the children she looked for. What is it? The bar. Mm-hmm. Owners' kids. She would abuse them. Taught them. She taught them. Mm-hmm. They were part of our group. Okay. She couldn't find the original. She found others. Mm-hmm. She spread the knowledge. Are you still with her? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Red, I'd like for you to ask Maid Marion if she would give permission to teach me about this sacred knowledge. Oh, I don't know how she would. Would you ask her? She's, uh, she's ready, she's ready, ready. She's ready? She's ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you allow me to speak with Maid Marian? Mm-hmm. Yes. Very good. So I'd like for you now to connect with Maid Marion and allow me to speak with her. I'm going to count from one to three. And let me speak now with Maid Marion. One, two, and three. Hello, Maid Marion. Hello. Maid Marion, I understand that you're teaching important knowledge. Yes. Yeah. 
Would you allow me to know some of the sacred teachings? Yes. What is it that you're teaching? Just the wisdom that we have a spiritual connection. Mm hmm. We can learn from the higher, higher self, and we don't. We don't have to be told what to do. Mm -hmm. How are you connecting with the higher self, Meg Marion? We have... We have ways. Mm -hmm. What kind of ways do you have if you're teaching these children? How do you teach the children how to connect? Go even deeper. I'm going to touch your shoulder now, and I want you to go even deeper, Maid Marion, and go directly, directly into this information, the spiritual sacred teachings. Allow yourself now to go deeper and deeper into the sacred teachings. Very clearly, remember all that you've read and written. What information do you receive? It's in their dreams. In dreams. Mm hmm. They have to remember their dreams. They have to remember their dreams. Tell me more about these dreams. Why are they so important? That's when the messages come through. Mm hmm. Who's giving them the messages? the divinity. Mm-hmm. What else? Dreams have to be shared. They have to be shared so they can, they can make others aware. So the dreams need to be shared to make others aware? Yeah. Who, did you, who do you share these dreams with? Scribes and write them, write them down. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. They become the books, and the books are for people to keep traditions passed on. Mm -hmm. So we, we don't have to listen to outside forces. We, we have our own traditions. Mm -hmm. Do you call your traditions by any particular name? Cathar. Cathar. Why do you call it that? It's cathargic. It's mm. freeing. It's, a, it's releasing. Mm -hmm. What else is there in those sacred teachings that you can teach me today? Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Tell me about forgiveness. It keeps us free from, from guilt, free from worry and harm. Forgiveness is the key. Forgiveness is the key. It keeps you free from guilt, worry, and harm. So, for example, Maid Marion, your fort was attacked and you had to leave. Were you able to forgive those that attacked you? Yes, I have no, no concern. I have no concern. Good. 
What does that do to your soul once you forgive them? We can carry on our traditions in peace. Mm-hmm. Very good. Were they there to destroy your traditions? Yes. Yes, they were. They were. Maid Marian, what else is in your teachings? be loving to fellow men. Mm-hmm. Share with our fellow men. Be loving and share with our fellow men. We can't take, we have to provide. Mm-hmm. What kind of things do you provide? We each have a skill, we have to share our skills. Everybody has to do the work for the village to survive. Mm -hmm. We had a fortress, but it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. We we want this Knowledge to continue, and we don't want it to be snuffed out and mm-hmm. handed over. Maid Marion, tell me a little bit more about these skills. Are people born with these skills? Or do they learn them? Yeah. Yes, they're, they're both. Mm-hmm. Some born and others mm-hmm. can learn. And when they la- learn these skills, this is what they provide for your village? Yes. Mm-hmm. We have knowledge of planning, planning and farming. And we had knowledge of working, building, constructing. Mm -hmm. What has happened to this knowledge? We have to write it down and protect it. Mm -hmm. It was passed on through generations. Mm -hmm. Is this what is written in these sacred texts? Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. We had our own way to teach, and and we didn't want to be told how to teach. Mm -hmm. What made your teaching different than others? It carried on throughout ages. We had from far back. To travel different lands. Mm-hmm. Where are you from originally? We came in from across the water. Across the water. Mm-hmm. Stone, Stonehenge. Stonehenge. What made you leave that area? We needed a better climate for crops. Mm-hmm. Our knowledge is better suited for Cathar region. Mm-hmm. And Maid Marion, who are your ancestors? Where do they come from with all this knowledge? Sisters of the Rose. Sisters of the Rose. 
Were they by the Stonehenge? They are spread out. Mm-hmm. They are in many lifetimes. Many lifetimes. Did they bring this knowledge? Yes. Mm-hmm. Did they also bring the way of teaching? Yes. Mm-hmm. This teaching, is it done when you are a child? Is it verbal or written? How is it taught? All, all, all verbal and written. Mm -hmm. It became more verbal. Mm -hmm. Written was not as secure. Okay. So what will you do now, Maid Mary? I think my time is good if I can pass on the knowledge to the youth and I can retire. Retire and be at peace. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's now close this scene, Maid Marion, and let's move forward to a time when either you or Red have moved on to teach this to others. Be there now. Where are you? Look around you. What do you see? A monastery. A monastery, very good. Tell me more. There are monks. Mm hmm. Is this red or Maid Marian? We're both there. Both there. What's happening there? can be a piece. Mm -hmm. We don't have any interruption. So you can be at peace in this monastery? Yeah. What do you do in this monastery? We're still writing. Mm -hmm. Who does the writing? We both do. Mm -hmm. What are you writing about today? The law of one. Tell me about the law of one. Service to self. Mm -hmm. Service to others. Service to others is much better. Mm -hmm. It's a path. A path to heaven. To a path to heaven. We need 51%. We need a majority. We need, we need a path to heaven. Mm -hmm. We need to provide for others. Mm -hmm. Who am I speaking with now? There's a monk. Mm -hmm. We don't give names. Mm-hmm. You're a monk? Yes. Mm-hmm. Tell me about this law of one. Where have you received this information? This came. Mm-hmm. Ancient knowledge. Mm-hmm. Egyptian. The time of Egypt. The time of Egypt. Are you receiving this information? It's channeled, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Monk, who is channeling this information about the Law of One? We have 
Our supreme leader. The supreme leader. Who is the supreme leader? He, he has a name I recognize. Mm -hmm. What does he look like? Small and dark. Small and dark? Yes. Tell me more about that. Is this the body that's small and dark? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does this body look like? It's got the just brown hair that's short. Mm -hmm. Brown, cut like a ball. So. And uh, Provides the teachings. Mm -hmm. And we write. Is he a monk too? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, this supreme leader, does he speak? And you write? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, today, are you writing? We're waiting. You're waiting. Tell me where you're waiting. Monastery is big and cold. Mm hmm. And who are you with there? Just by myself. Mm hmm. Waiting on the right. Waiting on the lessons. I'm waiting on the lessons. Are you the only one who receives this lesson? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I do good work. He comes to me often. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you, monk, now to accelerate the time when your supreme leader is beginning to give you lessons, to give you information. Tell me what happens. He wants me to put crystals on on the ground and have them stand up on their own. Mm -hmm. They have to raise up to vibrate them until they can change position. Mm -hmm. What do these crystals look like? Some are rounded, but they. They don't stay up, they fall. Mm -hmm. They stand and they fall. What is the purpose for them to be standing on their own? Sharing a vibratory energy with mm. crystals. Okay. Are you supposed to make these crystals stand? We're supposed to have their energy change pattern. Mm -hmm. We make sand formations. We make the sand formation and then we try to make the sand change shape formations. We adjust patterns. With the vibration of the crystals? We can use our hand but not touch them. Okay. So tell me what it is that you're doing with these crystals now. You have a pattern. You want it to shape, change shape, change pattern. Mm -hmm. He helps with his energy to arm our energy. Mm -hmm. Magnify our energy. What happens next? We, we, we see if our energy can help other energy, mm -hmm. other people. We share it, share the knowledge, keep attempting to move bigger objects. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Are you able to move objects? Small. Mm -hmm. What kind of objects are you moving? Just the sand patterns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me more. Describe everything that's happening. We please him, and then he feeds us. Mm -hmm. And then we make food for others. He wants our vibration to sync up together. He wants it to remain high for as long as he can. He feels we can bring peace where there's more stress. Mm -hmm. How many are you that are doing this with your leader? About a dozen. Mm -hmm. He wants us to calm, calm the others that are in stress. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? And then the vibration that we achieve, we have to maximize all together, and then we send it to the village. Mm -hmm. And this vibration, is it coming from the crystals? Or is the crystal in the same sequence as you? It's, it's coming from from us. Mm, okay. This village stays at peace and we we can sell our products. We have products. We have milk and yogurt and you mm. know, cheese and that kind of mm -hmm. and they accept us in the village. Very good. Do you receive anything from this village yourself? When you sell your products? I give it to the leader, we don't know. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Everything goes to your leader. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So let's close this scene. Allow yourself to close the scene and go to the next significant event in that lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? water. Mm -hmm. Take a look around you. Are you in the water or looking at the water? I don't know. I don't know. Uh. I'm going to touch your forehead and allow you to see even clearer. Yeah, we're on the ships in the water. We're on the ships in the water. Coming from our old home to the new home. Mm hmm. What do you look like there? We kind of wear rags. Mm-hmm. You're wearing rags? It's just brown. It's just like burlap or something. Mm-hmm. We don't wear much. Mm-hmm. Long time at sea. Where is it that you're going? Get to the new region. It's the Cathar region. Mm-hmm. We had to come across the water. to bring the animals.
Tell me more. It was hard to have to go. I can't only a few. We need more. We have to go back for more. Mm-hmm. We have to get back before back and forth as quick as we can bring the animal. Mm-hmm. How big are these ships? Nice size boats. Mm hmm. So they could fit quite a few people and animals? Yeah. Mm hmm. But it's a rough ride with animals. I mm-hmm. don't understand. Mm hmm. So we go back and forth and then we, we keep them safe. They, they, they prosper. So tell me what your new home looks like. Be there now. It's so nice. It has hills. Mm -hmm. Valley's very lush. We can keep animals in the valley. We don't have to tend them. They don't have anywhere to go. They stay down in the valley. Mm -hmm. It's surrounded by the hills so perfect, perfect for us. Mm-hmm. How many are you now? Two, two dozen. Two dozen. Are these monks? No. No. What are these? These are Cathar. The Cathars. Are these the old knights or not? Yes. Mm hmm. So, knights are with us. The knights are with you. Tell me more. They were in with a group and they were defected in the church shows. Had them do things they didn't agree, so they came to to protect us and to be with us. They, mm-hmm. they have to be careful that they're not found out. They were traitors. They were told to be traitors. They weren't traitors. They mm-hmm. didn't want to be harmful. They want to be peaceful. Very good. So what's the importance now of this new place where you're living? It's based on peace. We want to get along and we don't want to have the fighting. Mm-hmm. So we need to we need to build start building and have a fort. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's close this scene now and now let's go to another significant event in your lifetime there. Be there now. Oh, I'm, I'm the uh, I'm the one they come to. Mm-hmm. And the fort has a it's a big bridge, a big bridge. It's a moat. They have a moat and a drawbridge. Mm-hmm. And they need the drawbridge to draw to go up and down. I have. I have a horse I can tie and lash to and pull. Mm-hmm. I can pull it up. And I'm so good with metal and uh, metal work that I do blacksmithing. Mm-hmm. So did you develop this bridge? Yes. It was developed, but they couldn't get it to operate. But I got it to operate, and then I I put in a trap door. I put in a trap door in there protects the village are very happy that this bridge when somebody comes that doesn't know we tell them how to go but the strangers don't know and they fall into the moat we capture their horses and rides their armor has this happened before it's 
It's happened once in their fray. Please, they give me the armor. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I've been knighted, but they're very pleased. Do you wear the knight uniform? I have to make it fit. They, they know I can make it fit better, so they bring it to me. I don't know if it's mine to wear mm-hmm. or I'm there to work it to fit others. So let's move forward into this event and find out if this medal is for you or for others. I think it's for me. Mm. Become the knight. How does that make you feel? Mm-hmm. Very rewarded. Mm-hmm. I was, I was able, to, able to protect the village. Mm-hmm. Do they give you a name as a knight? Agar. 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 Very good. Agar the Cather. Agar the Cather. So, Agar, let's see what happens next. I'd like for you now to close that scene and go now to the significant event in your lifetime that has impacted you the most. Be there now. Where are you? I never left. Mm-hmm. I'm still there. Never left. What's happening? Still You're still there. What's happening? I don't, know. I don't know if they have a big battle coming and they need me. Mm-hmm. Tell me everything that happens. It's, I guess, uh, I upset the people that we that fell in the moat. They, they didn't. They underestimated us. And they would get more people. Mm-hmm. And now we're surrounded. How many have surrounded you? Look around. We can't tell. It's a. Uh, doesn't feel very good. Mm-hmm. What do you hear? We... We have a, a secret hideout that we can watch. We can watch them. If they come to the front, we can watch them. Mm-hmm. We can uh, attack them from behind. They don't see us. They don't see us. We attack and they think there's more of us. Mm-hmm. And they leave again. So we repelled them twice. How does that make you feel? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. I'm very lucky. Mm-hmm. You've yeah. saved your village. We feel blessed. It doesn't seem right. I'm, I'm, I'm like it was possible alone, like we had help. Mm-hmm. We feel very guarded, protected. Mm-hmm. Very good. So, Agar, let's close this scene, and now let's go to a little bit before the last day of your life. Where are you? It's just me and my horse. Me and my horse? What's happening? 
Where are you? We went off into the woods. Who don't you want to be alone? Not my horse. What's happening, Agar? <coughs> What's happening? Uh, I just can't go on. You can't go on? Sorry. What's happened to you? Just old age. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go on without me. How old are you now? Sixties. Mm-hmm. My sixties. Where are you going? Mm-hmm. Time is up. What have you done to your horse? I'm not you. Is he with you? Yes, he's leaving. He's fine. He'll be fine. He has to go. Mm-hmm. He has to go find others. He has to go find others. Mm-hmm. What do you do now, Agar? I just... I'm dying. Mm-hmm. What are you thinking about? I, think I want to have a new life, a new life. Mm hmm. Lesson was to be to be valiant, to be the lessons that were learned. Mm hmm Very good. So Edgar, find that final resting place. Find the place that you're going to finish that lifetime in. Tell me where you go. Just, no, just found a, a place in the woods. Mm-hmm. Just where my horse and I used to go and be alone. Mm-hmm. Just a place for me. So I gotta take your last breath there. Allow yourself now to leave that body. Leave that body behind. And tell me what does your spirit see? Huh. Where do you go? Nowhere. 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 How does that nowhere feel? Very much energy. Mm-hmm. Absorb this energy. Soak uh, this energy in. Oh. Love you more mm -hmm. than I've ever felt. Mm-hmm. Allow this energy to seep in. <laughs> Very pulsing. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to accelerate through 
this pulsing energy and tell me where it leads you to. Where do you go to? I haven't found a destination. Mm-hmm. Find the place where they welcome you home. What happens? I was <coughs> just feeling their love. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and my parents are there. Mm-hmm. What did they tell you? They said I had a good life. Mm-hmm. I'm proud and proud of you. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about this meeting. They're both together. Mm-hmm. The They see that I had a lot to get done, a lot to, a lot of energy, a lot to do, a lot to get done. Mm -hmm. What do they tell you? What are the things that you need to accomplish next? We talk about another time together. Mm-hmm. We talk about maybe what roles to play. Mm-hmm. So what's the next significant role that you need to play? I think it was a surprise to them that I came mm -hmm. in this life. I was supposed to be, uh, I was an accident, they said. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I made, <laughs> made sure I got here. Mm -hmm. Tell and me about this. It wasn't easy. They had to help me in my health when I was young. Mm -hmm. But they're glad that they said I. I was rewarding. Mm -hmm. I was a good, a good child. I, a good man. Let's ask them if the original soul that came into this body is the same one that's now. Is this soul? Because Dave questions whether he's a walk-in. It's a very determined soul. Mm-hmm. Same one. Same one. So why is it that he came in with such health issues? Why did they have to do some surgery on him? What happened? It was for their lesson. What was the lesson that they needed to learn? They wanted that. They wanted the knowledge of 
speak of service. Mm-hmm. Lesson of being of service. Tell me more. How did this small child, having such severe surgery, be a lesson to them in being of service? I wasn't healthy. <laughs> he could have died. He could have died. They, they had to ask for help. They had to call in their guides and helpers. Mm-hmm. Help them. And help them in their spiritual quest. Mm-hmm. Who are the ones that assisted in his recovery? We kept safe. Mm-hmm. He was uh, He brought in his angels. He brought in his angels. <sighs> How did this experience affect the child, Dave? He's 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 learning. Call. He's learning to call out the angels. Mm -hmm. So during this event in his life, he learned to call in the angels himself? Yes, he's learning. Mm -hmm. He's learning to call for help. How has that helped him? He's, he's, he's with, with less fear. He's, he doesn't fear. Mm hmm. Other people fear her, how nobody does. Yeah, he has a fear. Mm hmm. Now, has this surgery done anything to his body? Anything detrimental? It's okay. Mm hmm. It's okay. He's. He's. Yes, he set. <laughs> setbacks, but. No. No, nothing, no consequence. Mm -hmm. Because he was wondering if his food sensitivities were related to the surgery. It's a, it's a combination of toxins in the food. Mm -hmm. He's learning to call, calling for help and then learning what to eat. He's, he's better on his diet now. Mm hmm. So he has some questions. Who would like to answer the questions for Dave? His father or his higher self? His higher self. Very good. He wants to know a little bit about what his dreams signify. He had one in particular in which his father was stepping on his toe. Uh -huh. What is that all about? He's playful. He's playful. Mm -hmm. Just to get his attention. Just to get his attention. So what did Dad want to tell him? That he's here and he should, he should call it more. He's, he's here and he's here to help. Mm -hmm. And if he needs to know, he, he just needs to call for help. Mm -hmm. Can he call Dad regarding his family? 
any relationship issues that have been left. Yeah, his dad, his dad was a builder of houses. And he's wondering to build a house or not. Mm-hmm. What advice would like Dad like to give him? He stepped on his foot to tell him no. To tell him no. No housing. No, no building. No building. Good. Any other advice you'd like to give him? Just to... to be sharing with the, his partner in this house will, will come together and they both will manifest it. It's learning to manifest together. Mm -hmm. It'll be a, a joint effort. It'll, it'll be what they both want. Very good. Now Dave is asking a question about how to manifest best. You're telling him that he can manifest. What's the best way to manifest? With, with cooperation. Mm -hmm. With the like mind. With, with integrity, with care of heart. Mm -hmm. Manifest what has the best outcome. Mm -hmm. Seek the best outcome, and if there's any disagreement, any negative, move another path, move to a better, uh, better, higher purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that in the past he's kind of beat himself up for the fact that he didn't invest better. Can you tell him a little bit about his path and why? He has taken the path that he has without those ma major investments. It was... It was to get a proper focus. Mm -hmm. He needs to have the best intention for his, his riches to have the best outcome, the best use for good. And it'll come and just have to have the manifesting of what, what the wealth will provide and then it will be provided the help of the universe will help provide. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be the way he thinks it will be. It will be provided for however it's best provided. Mm -hmm. So should he be investing now? In small doses then they grow. Small doses grow? Yes, his focus was too large before. He had a, a big focus, but he didn't see that the, the bigger picture was to let the seeds grow mm. and not to have to expect it overnight and have to grow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Many seeds, many plantings. So they in different the, places. They make the forest. He doesn't need he doesn't need one big oak. He needs the forest to provide shelter. Good. Good. Now in that leading to another question. He wants to know how to best prepare for these earth changes. Uh -huh. Earth changes are our timelines that don't have an intersection now and they have are not interwoven, so it's not it's not clear to any or many, it's just he gets different different opinion, different and it sways him, but they're not of consequence. He has his own focus, his own his own uh, agenda will provide mm -hmm. he can not pay attention so not pay attention so much to others and, and pay attention more to where he's headed and it'll it'll be up he'll be at the right place at the right time okay so he shouldn't be really concerned with whether other people are saying more of his own guidance system yes he's done well it, it doesn't have to be a big redirection he's his path has kept him from harm and others have encountered harm and he's sailed right along without such matter so he's 
and protected and he used to keep the focus and the faith mm -hmm. now where is this information that he's receiving where is he getting it from because he tells me he's always listening to songs oh. and he gets messages <laughs> in songs <laughs> Uh, Who's giving him those messages? He asked for that, so we provide that. It's an uh, agreement, and it uh, works well. But uh, he wants more. Uh, he wants to contact through other means. We sent him ways to learn to douse. He was dousing when he was just a teenager, mm -hmm. and he's not since tried to douse, but he knows he can. Dallas and he can have success with it. Mm -hmm. He needs to ask for help and learn more. Okay, what about the pendulum? He just bought one and wants to know if he should be using that. He's always loved tiger eye. He mm -hmm. caught his eye. We we put it there to catch his eye. Mm -hmm. And it can be used with dowsing in combination. So. Okay. Do you have any tips on how to best use that pendulum, or any precautions? Ah, they will come. I think it's a slow go back and forth. Try to test. Mm -hmm. Find ways to test. Make it make a positive and a negative, and, and see what, how it works best and how it works least, and stay with the best. Do the testing. It doesn't always work right, but if you know what is not right, you can uh, stay with the path that's best. Mm -hmm. Now, who's going to be helping him <clears throat> with the use of the pendulum? Uh, he's, he has he has his higher self. Mm -hmm. Does he also have guides that he works with? He's had several. Mm -hmm. For when he needs them, they come for experience at the time he needs. Mm -hmm. Does he have any particular guide that sticks with him throughout? Yeah. Or do they come and go? He kind of borrows guides of his dad and him. And mm -hmm. They come and they go. They come back and forth. But he... Uh, He, uh, he hasn't a name. He thought he had a name. Uh, he thought he had a name of one that was female. Mm -hmm. He thought he had a name. He was calling people he knew by the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who was helping him at that time? Uh, the name came as a... The name was uh, Annika. Annika. Does Annika still work with him? Oh, because, oh, because a big help, yes. Mm -hmm. How big is his team now of guides that he's working with? Oh, the guy and the his grandmother. His grandmother. Which grandmother? Yeah. And okay, what are their roles in his life right now? What do they help him with? She helps bring her guides. Annika was her guide. Mm hmm. So Annika was Anne's guide. Yes. Mm hmm. What are they helping him with now? What's the next step for him? He used to soften people's hearts. Mm -hmm. How does he do that? He has them see things in a new perspective. He has them see things because he is a different perspective himself they they listen because he can show them a way they have not seen mm -hmm. 
away that he can bring a male perspective to a female environment and, and vice versa. He can learn from them. Mm-hmm. He can bring the energy that they are lacking and share it with the energy that they can provide. And new ideas come forth. He's an idea person. He loves teamwork, but the ideas, mm-hmm. if they don't have a team, he's not interested. So mm. he needs that team around him. He has great ideas, but the team approach has to buy in, or else it's not worth it for him. He wants to find the ideas that teams will assist. Is this his purpose in his lifetime? Purpose in bringing people to work together and bring, bring the ideas that, or share, or share the ideas, or bring, bring people on a path mm-hmm. for higher knowledge that, that they would maybe not have found on their own, but joint effort, it's, the effort is magnified. Mm-hmm to bring people to help bring the magnification to see that it's it's magnified now. Alone is not as powerful. Now you showed him a life in which he was helping with this secret knowledge, the sacred knowledge. Is this bleeding over into this lifetime? Yes, he's shown knowledge in his life, and other people don't. They just can't grasp it. Mm-hmm. Can you explain to Dave how important it is that he understand this life that he lived as a Cathar? This bringing the knowledge, it's helpful for peace. It's helpful for people to see what's the peaceful. They're mistaken. They see peace in the wrong methods, the wrong way. They think they're in a peaceful way. They're not. They're, they're helping the wrong side, the dark side, and they don't know. They don't know. Mm-hmm. They're good people. People, but they don't, they don't know what side to be on. They don't know where they should be, where their focus should be, and, and it's it's a he, he doesn't want the pain to be the message, having to be the messenger, and it just gets gets taken, uh, gets gets uh, gets the focus of their anger. Mm-hmm. Has he been the focus of this anger in a different lifetime? Has this happened to him before? Show him that lifetime. Show him what happened. He's... He's always on the front lines. He knows it. Mm-hmm. When he runs into battle, others run away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what lifetime is he seeing where he's running into battle? matter but how are they affecting him he has chosen not to be in battle right now physically he's he's been able to keep the peace he mm-hmm. does well mm-hmm. what has he learned from all those lifetimes 
It's about virtue. It's mm-hmm. about keeping people on the right path. Mm-hmm. They stray from the path, and he help, he can he help, helps keep them back mm-hmm. back to the path they should be on. Mm-hmm. It's a it's it's what he's always done. Mm-hmm. That's what he's done in this one. Yeah. Has he chosen the family that he's been in? to be able to work this throughout his life? It's been, it's been in his family. You know, he's had, his relative led the Lewis and Clark, mm-hmm. helped, helped interpret for the Indians until the Blackfeet Indians killed him from being on mm-hmm. a fur trapper on their land. And, and that's been, been the energy that Lewis and Clark needed and help and sought from his family line, his lineage has always been mm-hmm. one of one that goes out. There's a statue of his relative in Montana. Lewis and Clark put there. Mm-hmm. That seems to be a guide to the guides. Mm-hmm. He's been a guide. He's been a helper to the guy. He was a translator. He was a He's a peacemaker. So in this life, is he doing the same thing? Yeah, yes, he's he's followed that energy for for many lifetimes. Mm -hmm. So what is this energy doing to his body now? He says he has aches and pains, food sensitivity, irritation. Is any of this energy affecting his body? Energy effect. Uh, Take a look at his body, do a scan of it, and see how it's affecting him. Uh, there's a blockage, yeah. It's a blockage, it's blocked. Is this a blockage that he has created, or is it a blockage that is there for a different reason? He may be created it. All right. So would you allow me now to focus in on that area? Yeah. And let's find out what that blockage is associated with. Let's find out what emotion or what circumstance created the origin of that blockage. Ah, uh, Darkness in there. Mm-hmm. What is this darkness in there? It's a, is it something he created? Or is it something attached to him? It's not sure. Not sure. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my hand, the energy, over that area. And let's bring that energy up, 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 and allow it to express itself. Are you male or female energy? Female. Female. What is your name, please? Tessa. Tessa, how old are you? 35. Mm -hmm. What year is it, Tessa? Thirty-five. Mm-hmm. Is that nineteen thirty-five or earlier? Nineteen thirty-five. Mm-hmm. Tessa, tell me what happened to your body. I'm not sure. Tessa, I want you to go to the last day of your life. What happened to your body? Drowning. 
drowning. What happened to your spirit after you left that body? Where did you go? Swam. Mm -hmm. Where did you swim to? Just swam. Swam, swam. Mm -hmm. There was nowhere to go. So uh, how is it that you found this body? How did you find Dave? Hospital. Hospital. How old was he? Five. Five. What was happening when he was five years old in the hospital? He had a roommate in his room. It was total panic and fear. Mm-hmm. Run around the room in panic and fear. And what did this little roommate do to Dave? He sent off energies. Mm-hmm. And were you attracted to this energy? It was easier to go to Dave. He was, he was more inviting. Mm-hmm. So did he invite you in? Did he call for you? No, he was trying to keep peace in the room. Mm-hmm. So, Tessa, what did you do once you entered, Dave? I just made it, made it so he, he would have, he would have to keep me there. Why is that? Made it so. He wanted to have my energy. Mm-hmm. So what did you do to him? How did you make him feel? He... He felt like... It was... It was... It was helpful. Mm-hmm. So, Tessa, what's happened now? Huh. He doesn't... You don't seem to be very helpful to Dave mm. now. No, it's What are you doing to him? Suppressing. Mm-hmm. Why are you suppressing? He's, he doesn't want me mm -hmm. there anymore. Mm-hmm. He's... It's an energy unblocked and I hold on. What does that do for you to keep his energy? It's, it's all I know. Mm -hmm. Tessa, would you like to know something else? Yes. Tessa, this energy that you're looking for is right within you. Would you like me to help you find it? Yes. Look inside of your own heart. Within your heart, there is a spark of light. This is a spark that reminds you of who created you. This is the light of the Creator. Find that light now, Tessa. Now make that light bigger. Make it really big. Make it even bigger. Feel the energy of that light. How does that make you feel, Tessa? It's vibrating. Mm-hmm. Tessa, this is what it feels like to go home. This is where you came from. You came from Creator. Isn't it time now that you go home? Yeah. Very good. So, Tessa, I'd like for you now to begin detaching yourself. And, Dave, I'd like for you to go inside of that area and cut any cords that you find attaching Tessa's energy to your body. And Tessa, tell me when you have completely detached from his body. Yes. Very good. Tessa, I'm going to ask you now to go up through the top of Dave's head right here. And Archangel Michael is right there waiting for you. 
but before you go with him. Do you have something to say to Dave? I apologize. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Dave, do you forgive this energy for not knowing any better? I agree. Send her your love. Tessa, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Go with Archangel Michael and tell me who is there to welcome you home. Oh, it's pretty, pretty angel. Mm hmm. Very good. Thank you, Tessa. And now I'd like for Archangel Raphael to step forward and go ahead and put your green light into that area, sealing it. Energizing it, bringing it back to normal flow. Very good. Let's bring everything back that should be there. And now that we have taken care of that area, is there any other area in his body that is affecting him? Uh, so much energy. I'm vibrating, but I'm, I'm sweating, but I'm cool. Uh huh. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Let's take a look at the rest of the body and tell me where else he feels anything that should not be there. Oh, it feels wonderful. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Very good. Let's take a look at his neck. Before we started, he had a bit of a neck irritation. What is causing that? Ah, it's just playful. Mm-hmm. Who was playing with him? It's a playful energy. Playful energy. Whose playful energy is that? It comes and goes. Mm -hmm. It's like going wild. Who does that belong to? Gosh. I think it's... Uh, it says Mike. Mike. Mm-hmm. Who is Mike? Mike, I don't know Mike. I'd like for Mike to step forward and identify himself. Mike. Mike, who are you? I was in the, the room with the kid at five years old. Mm-hmm. I, was, I left his body. I left the kid and I, I found Dave. So you were in the room when Dave was five? Yes. Are you the one who was panicking? Yes. Mm. So you have left your body and have found the soul once again? I left the mm -hmm. kid he wanted to be gone and I, I found Dave. Did you want to say hi to Dave, or did you need some assistance from him? He was... He was scared. Mm-hmm. I was scared. We were scared together. We played together. Mm-hmm. So, Mike, tell me, have you gone home to the light? Or are you still trapped here? Still here. I come and I go. Mm. Mike? Would you like us to assist you today to finally be at peace? Yes. All right. Mike, I'm going to ask you to do the same thing that I asked Tessa to do. I'd like for you to look inside of your heart and find that little spark of light. The light of the Creator, the God spark. Yes. Now make it bigger, Mike. Amplify it to where it takes over your whole body. It's big. Mm-hmm. It's big. How does that feel? It's amazing. Mm-hmm. This is what home feels like, Mike. This is where you're going to be going, back to this light. But I'm going to ask for the angels of the white light to come and assist you. I'm going to ask them to come out, come and surround you. Okay. And tell me what they tell you. Mm -hmm. So, Archangel Michael, I'd like for you to accompany this whole troop of angels back home. Send Mike back home. Yeah. Tell me when you get there, Mike. 
kind of flying in formation. Very good. Very good. What happens? So much energy. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now he has a few more questions about his body. What's going on with his left foot? He says he seems to have some sort of athlete's foot there. What's causing oh, that? Gosh. That's, that's nothing. That's nothing. So can I ask, please, for some energy on his foot? Let's connect directly with the cells in his foot and let's speak with them and tell them directly to let's get working. And I'd like for you to send that beautiful energy down to those feet so they can begin healing those feet. He's, he's been working on it. He's been healing it. It's getting better. Very good. It helps him to know he can heal. Very good. What else does he have in his body that he needs to work on? Uh, Take a look. Uh, don't see anything yet. Very good. Take a look at the his gut. See if he's got bacteria there that's working. It's getting better. Mm-hmm. Better food, better gut. Better food. What is the best diet for him, please? Less beer. Less beer. What is the beer doing to him? Feeds the bacteria, the bad, the yeast. Mm. So can I ask on his behalf for a guide to assist him in eliminating that beer? Yes. Very good. Thank you. And what about the rest of his body? He wants to know about water. What is the best water to help his body? Water, water, water from plants. From plants. Juices. Juices, mm-hmm. What's water. the best juices for him? Watermelon. Mm-hmm. Uh, grapefruit. Mm-hmm. Juicy. Very juicy. So focus on the juicy, yes. the juicy fruits. Yes. Good. Anything else that he should be ingesting? Perhaps some supplements, vitamins. Yes. What are the best ones that he should focus on? Moderation. Moderation. All good. Moderation. Everything's good. What is what would he need for his testosterone and heart? Exercise. Exercise. Is there any particular exercise that he should focus on? Jumping. Jumping, okay. Can I request on his behalf for a guide that will assist him with his nutrition and exercise? Yes. Thank you. What about fasting? Is that good for him? He's not too fond of that. Mm-hmm. Is that something that would help him? Limited in the mornings. In the, in the mornings? Yes. Mm-hmm. So he should not eat until a certain time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Any particular time or will his body know? He will know. He will know. Very good. Now, I know that you brought him here for a reason. Could you tell him what is the purpose of bringing him to this session? To have, to have this energy that he's never had. Mm -hmm. To know how to feel it and to bring it back in. And where is this energy coming from? That's amazing. Mm-hmm. 
crystals are helping. The crystals are helping. Very good. Are there any particular crystals that he should work with? Because we know that he, in one of his lifetimes, worked with crystals. Dolomite. Dolomite, okay. Anything else? Uh, Labradorite. Labradorite. Mm hmm. The tiger's eye. The tiger's eye. Yes. So it seems like he's already been guided yeah. to these crystals. Very good. Now, can I request that he be able to access this information that he saw in the lifetime of a monk where he was working with these crystals? Yes. Can you give him access to that? Yes. Very good. And I'd like to also request would it be to his benefit to be able to access this lifetime in which he was with Maid Marian to access the sacred texts? No. That was for others. That was for others. Okay. Has he taken with him the essence of that? Very good. That's all he needs? Yes. Very good. Is there anything else that I could have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell Dave today? Um, I have to think of that one. Mm hmm He needs to keep this energy. He needs to keep this energy. What's the best way for him to keep this energy? Get the, try the float spa again. Mm hmm. Meditate in the mornings. Meditate in the mornings. Very good. Now, where should he be bringing this energy in from? Is there any certain chakra that he could bring this energy in from? He, he likes to go barefoot. He likes to bring the energy up. Up, up through Gaia? Yes. Very good. So I'd like for you now to allow him to see how this energy is going to be brought up through Gaia. I'd like for you to show him how he's standing on the ground and feel the energy as it comes up through his feet. He stands on tree roots. Mm-hmm. Pulses, pulses up from you. Mm-hmm. Very good. He needs better shoes. He needs better shoes. He needs better shoes. No rubber sole. So something with leather, perhaps, or leather, cloth? Leather, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Can you guide him to find those shoes, please? Yes. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to tell Dave or tell me today? Oh, gosh. Amazing, amazing time. Such great energy. Mm-hmm. Keep, keep up. Keep the work going. Mm-hmm. Very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. <laughs> How, How Welcome back. Like, God, the energy is like... Are you feeling it? I always hear people say they're vibrating, but it's like, oh my God. You're I'm, vibrating, huh? I could float. I'm just vibrating like all over. How do you feel? It feels like you have it with a magic finger is turned on. It really does. It feels like there's some electronic thing plugged. This bed is plugged <laughs> in. Wow, enjoy it.
That's crazy. That's crazy. So let's switch those selenite stones with this shungite. Uh, let's get you grounded. Wow, well, I hate to give them up. Mm hmm. It's got to end sometime. <laughs> let's put this one in here. And let's put this one. Let's feel the energy of that one going through. How does that feel? Uh, it's slowed my hands down, but my feet are still. Mm -hmm. So, how did this session go for you? I had no idea about the monk. Because mm -hmm. here I am thinking I'm not not much about crystals, and then here and this monk is doing all this. Crystal. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. You did a quite a few different things there today. You started as a knight, <laughs> and then we switched into a conversation with Maid Marian. I keep thinking Knights Templar, but yeah. I, I, I just, you know, I see that. I feel like I was a Templar that defected. He didn't like the whole Templar mm -hmm. scene, and he said, like, get me out of here. I'm, I'm and go. you went to the country. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just protected people. And then? Yeah, and then... Uh, you were being, we were knighted again. Yeah, and then there's healing. Yeah. So that kid, yeah, there was. I was in five years old, and there was a kid in the room, and he screamed, and he'd run around the room, and he'd come in with a needle to stab him with, and he, it was this big. I saw the needle, mm -hmm. and I don't blame him, but he would go nuts. I don't yeah. know what was going on with him, but he would go. And then they give him the best food. He eat chicken and. <laughs> and I'd be giving bread and water, and I'd like like the worst dinner, and this guy'd mm. see him over there, or just eat and all. But man, when he they'd get him from under my bed, yeah. he would hide under my bed, and they'd drag him out. And, and so he came and found you. <sighs> Whatever happened happened back then. Yeah. I guess. So how does your body feel? No, I'm mm -hmm. still vibrating. My feet yeah. are just like lifting off. But yeah, my hands went back to normal right away. How long do you think the session was? How did it feel? <laughs> uh, How long do you think that this was? Yeah, 30, Don't guess. 30, feel. Yeah, like 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. We're in an hour and 45 really? minutes. Oh. A lot longer than you think. Longer. Yeah, it does go by pretty <laughs> An hour and 45. Amazing, huh? Gosh, yeah. So is this time. something you want to share? Or you want to keep it personal? Oh, I definitely like that. <laughs> blissed out is that what they call it how are you feeling <laughs> so I enjoyed it wow really cool I mean you were really seeing those lives yeah and uh, mm -hmm. trial and I was a monk I don't know <laughs> and tell me about the, the first life the first life we saw was about this knight that was protecting Maid Miriam yeah yeah, that was a that was a secretive thing. I wasn't supposed mm -hmm. to let anybody know what I could, mm -hmm. what I had, what I could, you know, what mm -hmm. she had given me to entrust with me. Yeah, so I'm not sure I even knew what I was having in my possession. I just had to keep it safe. And it seems like at the end, when I asked your higher self if you can access this, it was like no. <laughs> <laughs> like no way <laughs> this is secret up. stuff oh, no, I, can't give up. <laughs> I mean it was bad it, it was good enough that i was able to get this stuff from her but sworn a secret <laughs> sorry it wasn't that something and then the monk the life of the monk uh building moving to the new place building a fort oh yeah right yeah it was that the same life or was it a different life i think i went off to the monk and then came back to the like I revisited. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. I stayed in that Cathar region quite. Yeah, long. yeah. And um, how did it feel to connect with your higher self? That was what I was hoping for. I mean, yeah, that know, was pretty nice. Yeah, I do love that. And your mom and dad? Yeah, I was surprised they came through. And, and my my grandma. That didn't occur to me that. It kind of had occurred that there may be something there, but yeah, that, that came forward. That was really cool. Yeah, what's really interesting is that. You know, I always take the history of everybody who comes to the session, and a lot of people say, well, I never knew my grandmother, or she died, or, mm -hmm. you know, I really didn't get to know them, but they're still your ancestors, so they are typically watching over you, even though you don't remember them. <laughs> right. And sometimes they are your guides. So, you know, my grandmother came through as being one of my guides, mm -hmm. and, and so, so are my, you know, my parents are there 
always with me too. So it, it was not surprising to me that your parents came through, especially how loving they were. Uh, yeah. A family. And you asked about why did I feel sick at five years old, and I yeah. think it's more for them. I, I it was their lesson. Yeah. And I that was very emotional for you, understanding. There's a couple times I got, I couldn't, you know, I was trying to spit it out, and I was mm -hmm. like, I didn't really want to not say anything but it was really tough to get. <laughs> oh, I can say it. it was hard for us to watch too <laughs> it was yeah. yes because it's i mean it's very emotional and you want to be able to help but you have to get the words out you know you have to get the emotion out yeah. so how has this changed you oh gosh i, 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 I mean definitely... you came in with one idea and yeah i got a whole lot, lot more to think about now which yeah is great. a lot more to and pursue. your body yeah how does yeah, it feel it so how's better. your neck feel it feels good. I just vibrated. I floated right over the, <laughs> down the room and back. Just now. <laughs> because when you started, it was like, my neck, my neck. It was kind of bothering you. And I felt like if I kept going, I didn't know how much energy I could hold. It like, kept like, growing yeah. and growing and building. And then mm -hmm. you stopped it. And I thought, well, that was probably smart because I don't know where I would have been if I had to. Yeah. And, and then the, the sun got right away. got my hands, but my feet were still vibrating. It was and then it stopped. Yeah, and then it just went. That's amazing. Isn't that great? <laughs> it stopped. So right now we are in Gainesville, Florida. It's in the central part of Florida, a little, I guess, central north, north central area. Mm -hmm. And where are you coming from? Newport Richie, Tampa. Basically. Tampa area. So that's on the west coast of Florida. And uh, I'm only here for a few days. And um, so this wasn't a, a long travel for you at all, right? It was a couple of hours well, or something? Thank you. It was better than Miami. But, uh, <laughs> Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. So if um, you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albaweinman.com. On the out-of-town page, there is a link to subscribe to my newsletter. That is the only way to get a session. So is that how you yeah, came across? Yeah, I was supposed to come to Miami in, in September, and then and you helped move it up, move it up, and mm -hmm. back and forth. It and yes. I was so happy. Yeah, and I do that. So if anybody does get a session, don't don't book your travel right away because I do shift things around. I like to see people where they live. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if they've made a, a reservation for Miami and I am going to your city, I do like to make um, as much the leeway to get to get you close to where I'm going to be. I mean, I think that's what's right. Mm -hmm. So uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. I'm glad that you watched this session. I hope you got uh, something out of it like I did. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Give me that hug. <laughs>